Hey guys, it's Payne, and uh, today I'm bringing you part two of that Mugen tutorial. Uh, let's get right to it. First of all, you gotta download Mugen, which is this website right here. Downloads Mugen, download that. This is the HD version that came out um, December 2010. So once you download that, it's gonna come up in the zip file. Whoops, it's gonna come up in the zip file, and you wanna extract that. And, uh,. This will be the folder that you get. Now, the file that you want to open is this one right here. This is the Mugen EXE. And uh, push F1 to continue. And this is your game right here. Um, your controls are uh, comma, period, slash, L, semicolon, and uh, apostrophe. Wow. Can Anyways, um, yeah, this is pretty fun. Now, once you get bored of this, you're probably wanting more characters, more stages, and then beef up your uh, Mugen. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So, go ahead and close out of this. Oh, you hit escape to uh, get back to the main menu, and then you hit, like your A button is basically your comma. So, that's how you close out of that. And, um, say so you want a character, well... And all of these links I'm showing you will be in the description. But say you go on Google and you want to search for a character or something. And you find a nice website like this one right here. MugenGuild.com. I, I love this website. And say you want to put a character like Ryu. You see Ryu right there? Well, you see Ryu right there? Well, we're going to put him in our Mugen. So. Um, I'm also putting this link in the description. This guy... Right here, Pots. He's really freaking good. Uh, developed some nice character. Well, has some very nice rips of characters. And uh, let's oh reuse right here. So we download, but I already have him. So, and this is the file you'll get right here, Ryu. And uh, you want to extract that, and you want to get this folder file. You want to open up this folder and look for the file name Ryu.def. And you just want to make sure that the folder name is the same as the uh, Ryu.def file. The DEF file name should be the same as the folder name. That is very, very, very important. And once you've got all that set settled, uh, you want to go back to your Mugen directory and go to characters. And then place Ryu in there. And it's copying because I'm on an external hard drive. But... Uh, once you're done copying, you gotta go back to your Mugen directory and open up your data folder and then open your select.def file. And this also tells you how to uh, add characters and all that if you need further explanation. But uh, you scroll down and you see these two. These are the two characters in here Kung Fu Man, the uh, standard edition, and then the high def. Kung Fu Man, which is why he has a 720. It's not much really but the difference between them, but oh well. Okay, so uh, you go back to your characters folder. And uh, Ryu should be type exactly as it is. Because this must be the same as that file folder name. Which must be the same as in here. It must be the exact same. You want to go close out of it and uh, start up your Mugen to see if it works. And it does. Ryu is in here. Looking all bossy. Like a beast. And uh, I fail at this game because I don't have my controller. But say you want a stage or something. Say you want to import a stage. Well, that's why I'm here today to show you that. <laughs> well, anyways, uh... Let's say you wanna you wanna use the same guy that we got the uh Ryu character from, Pots. And um I'm I will give you guys these links, I promise. I won't leave you hanging. And uh let's let's get this iron horse and iron terror. And uh, I already have that, so once you get this, you wanna extract it. And you get this folder right here. 
Then you want to go back to your Mugen directory and oh, whoops, Mugen directory and open up your stages. And uh, you want to open up your Iron Horse folder, and you want to copy your Iron Horse .sff file and your Iron Horse .def file and copy it over to your Mugen directory. And, uh, that should be it for that part. And then go back up a level, and then go to your data folder and your select .def folder. This is where you add your stages as well. This is just right here, extra stages. Then you gotta type exactly. You gotta type the uh, directory for it. Stages forward slash. Oh, I gotta remember. Well, yeah. If you don't remember, just go back to your stages. Right click, copy, and paste. Dot def, and that should put us should put that iron horse stage in your Mugen so save close out of that and open up your Mugen let's go into practice mode just for purposes for you against Kung Fu Man now there's only two stages to start off with th this one and this one but now since we've added that other stage we should have gotten this one and it should work and it does um, that's how you, it's that freaking easy. It's just really, really simple. That's how you download Mugen. That's how you put a characters in your Mugen. And that's how you put, uh, stages. People have been asking for this video for a very, very long time. And I've let some people down. But, oh, well, uh, it's here now. So, um, I'll show, I'll probably show you guys how to put screen packs and other junk in your Mugen because I'm really starting to like this HD Mugen is pretty freaking sweet and uh, stay tuned for more guys